will not. He won't grow. But he knew what you need is not going to be answered by man's means. What you have need of can't no man fix. <laughs> what you have need of, there's nobody that can fix it. He said, in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. I uh, see, uh, see, in the name of Jesus, the name uh, means a lot of things. See, in the Old Testament, uh, they would give the children names according to uh, uh, their characteristics, according to uh, what they expected from them to, to be, according to what they were going through at the time. Uh, uh, Judah's mama named him praise because at the point she finally began to praise God. Their name was reflective or in comparison to their characteristics. So in the Old Testament, they were trying to figure out who God was. So they, they always, God would always give them or reveal a name to them. Or they would give God a name based out of what they thought God was. Ah. And so uh, I, I want to run a list down to you of some things that they, uh, they said about God. And, and in the Old Testament, they called him El. That means that he was uh, God. And, and, and then they called him Elohim, meaning uh, uh, this is the plural uh, name of God, meaning, uh, uh, meaning that he was the only true and living God. Besides him, there was no other. All other gods had to bow down to him. They called him El Shaddai, uh, meaning that he was God Almighty and that he was God All-Sufficient. They called him Adonai, meaning he was the Master and the Savior and the Lord of Lords. They called him and Jehovah was his his, uh, his covenant name, meaning that when they finally introduced himself to Abraham, he found out, uh, uh, and they found out that he was a covenant type person. So he took them a little further and he finally told him his name. It was Jehovah. It was the, the Jehovah means uh, the Lord. And so then as they kept going, they start finding out more about God and they start finding more about him. So they start increasing his name. They called him Jehovah Jireh because the Lord will provide. They called him Jehovah Rapha because they found out that he was a healer. They called him Jehovah Nisi because he was the Lord on battle. As they went into battle, every time they went, he, he always provided and took care of them. They called him Jehovah Sikhanu, the Lord that sanctified. They called him Jehovah Shalom because he was the Lord that gave him peace. They called him Jehovah Rapha because David found out the Lord was my shepherd and I shall not want. They called him Jehovah Shammah that the Lord would be there that the Lord would be present that no matter what you're going through that the God that we serve would never leave you nor forsake you. They called him Lord of Supply the Lord of hosts. The Lord that's always commanding his army and they called him El El Yon, the Lord Most High. He was the God of Most High but then when Jesus came along the Bible said that in the Godhead dwelled all the characteristics of the Godhead bodily. He was the one that was all wrapped up in him. So they said Jesus was God. Jesus was God Almighty. Jesus was the Master. Jesus was the Lord. Jesus the Lord will provide. Jesus the Lord who healed. Jesus the Lord I battle. Jesus the Lord that sanctified. Jesus the Lord our peace. Jesus, the Lord our shepherd. Jesus, the Lord will be there. Jesus, the Lord. Of and last but not least, the Bible says that Jesus is the most high God. So whatever you need from God, if you need your body healed, If you need your body healed, somebody tell your neighbor, say Jesus. If you need peace in your spirit, tell your neighbor, say Jesus. Uh, if you need somebody to hold you and rock you at night, somebody say Jesus. If somebody needs sanctification in their spirit, somebody just tell them, say Jesus. 
In other words, he took it all the way back to the first man that he introduced himself to that began to write the stories. And he met Moses on the mountaintop. And they said, who are uh, He said, just so that I can tell uh, Pharaoh who sent me. The Lord said, tell him that I am that I am. Tell him that I am sent you. Tell, in other words, whatever you need from God, I am that. I am healing. I am restoration. I am forgiveness. I am. I am. I. Tell somebody. Tell him. Say. He said, I am. I am. I need a job. I am. I need a house. I am. I need healing. 